Hi friends, Annie is here with Team Restream and today I want to talk about screen sharing. If you are like me, you might be using this feature quite a bit during your live streams, especially if you're doing any kind of tutorial videos or product reviews, or if part of your live stream is simply walk people through something that's going on on your screen. So let's go ahead and have a look at how this feature works in Restream Studio. We will start with entering our live studio and then right under our image, we will see the button that says share screen. It's right here. And when you click it, if you are in Chrome, you have some options. Option one is you can share your entire screen. That means that your audience will see everything that is going on on your screen. So all your windows, all your tabs, all notifications, mouse movements, literally everything. You can also share a specific application window. So for example, if you have something like Slack going on or your Skype or any other application, you can share exclusively that window. And another option is to share your Chrome tab. Remember, if you're sharing your Chrome tab so you could share a video and you want your audience to hear the sound of that video, you need to remember to check this box right here that says share audio. Otherwise, your video will play silent for your audience. So let's go ahead and share the entire screen for now. And see how the moment I click that button, the screen immediately appeared on my channel. So this is because in my graphics, I have it set for automatically share screen. If I deactivate this option, the experience will be a little bit different. So see how now I go ahead and select share screen, the same entire screen, but see how now I remain on the video just the same way as I was. And right here on the side, I have this option to toggle on my shared screen. And when I'm ready, I can do it and my shared screen pops up right away. So I personally prefer to keep it as automatically share screen because usually for me, for my setup, whenever I am clicking share screen, I am ready. But this is of course personal preference. Another thing that I would recommend if you're sharing screen quite a bit is to make sure that you set your video for high definition or full HD, so that 1080p, the highest definition possible. This is important because if you are sharing your screen and your audience is following along with high definition, they will see your screen much more crisp and it will be just easier for them to see what's going on. I hope this was helpful and I wish you happy live streaming and happy screen sharing.